Welcome to Scott Cooks, everybody. Tonight we're going to be reviewing, cooking, and tasting Omaha Steaks Chicken Fried Beef Sirloin Steak Fritters. Chicken Fried Beef Sirloin Steak Fritters. We're going to cook those in our Ninja Foodie. This is going to be great. Stay tuned. Let's talk about packaging. These steak fritters come in a nice big box that was sealed with a little glue seal running up under there. There were four fritters in here, which means there was two bags. Each bag contains two fritters. Personally, I think the box is a little overkill for the uh, size of the stuff that's inside of it. Okay. Now we're going to cook these in our Ninja Foodie. We're going to use the Air Crisp 390 and we're going to temperature check them. Then we're going to uh, get them out, cut into them, give them a taste, etc. etc. Let's get rolling. As with all things foodie, you should preheat. So I'm going to go with an air crisp. 390 is a default. Time, I don't care about time right now. I can add to it, take away from it as need be. And all I'm doing is giving the basket a little preheat. While we're waiting for the preheat, let me show you what we got in the bag here. We've got two fritters. And there's my hand and it's a little bigger than the width of my hand. These are pretty good size. If you're going to spray your Ninja Foodi basket, make sure you finish the preheat first. I use Pam. That's about all you need. Certainly don't want to over, overdo it. Take your fritters. Now these might be a little bigger than the basket, but that's okay. You can lay stuff right up on the side and it's going to get the exact same cook. And down we go. Now the box directions calls for there it is, 400, this is in the oven, 400 12 minutes flip and 12 minutes. Well, we're cooking into foodies. So we're not going to do that. Ninja foodie cookers are rule breakers by default. So, we're going to break the rule a little bit. We're going to air crisp these and uh, we're going to do about seven or eight minutes, I guess, on the first side. We're going to flip them over. It may not even be necessary to flip them. We're just going to use our digital probe to, uh, where I forgot where I put it. Uh, hang on. We'll use our digital probe and we're looking for 165 plus so we know we're cooked all the way through. I think that you guys uh, that watch my channel regularly know that I have a garden and I just picked this beautiful yellow crook neck squash. I just picked this from the garden a couple minutes ago. So what I'm going to do, clean it up, slice it right down like that and I'm going to be throwing it over in my Curtis Stone pan on the stove and I'm going to fry up this yellow squash and if you've never fried squash, wow, you are in for a treat. I'll be frying that in some butter. Let's get rolling on that one. I only use real butter when I cook, y'all. This is salted butter, cream butter. It's about two tablespoons. I might need a little more, um, but I'm gonna start it off at two tablespoons. Boom, just chuck that right over in the Curtis Stone. Let me get you guys focused on the, uh, on the squash here for a second. Hopefully my hand won't be in your way. Right out of the garden. 20 minutes ago. She's a beauty. I actually picked three of them and I picked a zucchini. So we'll be doing something in the foodie with zucchini. Maybe some zucchini fries, something like that. Now these getting a little big around as you can see. So I'm going to just cut them in half. And I'll be taking these, 
straight into the frying pan with the butter. I missed. Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> All right, let's finish this up. I always cut them last ones with my hand on top of that knife. No chance of cutting your finger off. See that? My hand's on top. I watch some other channels. I see people doing some mighty dangerous things with their knives. You know what? Scott would rather be in the kitchen cooking than sitting in the emergency room, hospital, waiting room. What do you think I'm gonna put on that? If you watch this channel, you know what I'm gonna put on that. Right there, baby. Check the description. There's a link. If you can't find it in your store, you can find it through my link. It helps support the channel. I sure would appreciate it. All right, I'm doing about uh, medium high on that, and then I'll cut it back down once we start sizzling up pretty good. And we got a couple more minutes on those fritters, and we're going to check, see if we need to, to uh, flip them or just let them roll. Just taking a quick peek. Uh, they shrunk up a little bit from being frozen, so they both fell down into the bottom. They're sizzling up. I'm not ready to flip them yet or temperature check yet. All right, I have decided to flip. Why? Because I can. Well, maybe I can't. There we go. Sorry guys, my arm was in a bad position for that one. But we're flipped. Looking good. Gotta get a little more crispy though. All right, I decided to make a quick white gravy, very simple white gravy to go with these um, Chicken fried steak fritters, very simple. I got a tablespoon of butter there. And I got a half a tablespoon of flour. And what we're gonna do is melt this flour into this butter. We're gonna make what they call a roux, a paste. We're gonna throw a cup of whole milk in it. trick here is very simple. Keep on stirring. Got that a little hot maybe. We'll cut that back a little bit. You don't want no lumps. You want that flour and butter just to be as one. And the milk is cold y'all. So make sure everything is completely melted before you throw any milk in. And the second part of the trick is to go slow. One cup of whole milk. About a quarter of a, quarter of a cup at a time. And now we're going to go ahead and bring that temperature up to almost a boil. Once we start to sizzle, simmer, I meant to say, um, this will start to thicken a little bit. We can add the rest of the milk, or a little at a time, of course. But that cold milk just killed the, uh, the heat. So let's bring that heat back up. And while we're doing that, we're going to stir our squash. Which I did start with a lid. I'm now, that was just to help soften them up. I'm going to remove the lid and keep the lid off of them. All right, I went ahead and, um, there we go, there's my boil. I went ahead and Turned the Ninja Foodi off because my chicken fried steaks are ready. And that'll just keep them warm for me while I finish up making everything else over here. And I'm not sure if this is going to translate very well on the camera, but um, we are definitely thickening up. 
course you don't want to boil your milk. It'll burn. sit there and uh, thicken itself up now. What you're looking for here on the squash is some brown crispy edges. I'm just starting to see them. I want to go a little further with that one. Let's go ahead and get that temperature check for you. Oh, that is beautiful looking. I think we're well beyond 165, so I think we're not a problem here. Yeah, we're already there. So we're just sitting in the heat. The foodie is off. Just sitting there keeping warm for me. There you go guys, right out of the foodie, that's an Omaha steak, chicken fried, sirloin steak fritter. I call it a chicken fried steak, they call it a chicken fried steak sirloin fritter. Anyway, cooked in the Ninja Foodi, 390 degrees air crisp for approximately 16 minutes. Let's give it a taste test. Oh, still probably hot. Hmm, <laughs> not hot. Okay. Hmm. See if I can get this um, zoomed in a little for you. Let's see what we're dealing with here. There it is. All right, guys, that's um, seasoned. A little peppery. Very nice. I like it. Crispy, because I air crisp it. Um, easy to chew, tender, I'd call it, uh, not, to, not like tender like a filet mignon or something, but tender. Uh, sirloin steak, Omaha steak, I mean it's hard to go wrong. As a chicken fried steak, by itself, no toppings on it or nothing. From the freezer to cooked, I'd give that a good, um, good uh, nine out of 10. I mean, not sure what would make a 10 out of 10, but uh, I'd give that a nine out of 10. That's good. Let's go ahead and uh, put the rest of the plate together. There's that white gravy I made on top of the chicken fried steak. Make sure you check the description. I'll put the um, instructions on that again in there for you. It's very simple. And there it is with the fresh picked yellow crookneck squash fried in some butter in my Curtis Stone pan on the stove top. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Please click the like button for me. Don't forget to share this video. That really helps the channel out a lot. Share it wherever you can share it. Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Make sure you check the description box. There's Patreon links. There's going to be some other links to like the Himalayan pink salt, stuff like that. I want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video.
Hope you guys try this Omaha Steak stuff out. Make sure you check the playlist. I've got an entire playlist with nothing but Omaha Steak products. I think you'll enjoy that. We'll see you guys on the next video.